Hello, I'm Mary Kurzweil with the Cattlefax Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. The latest trade data for February showed that beef demand remains strong overall. Beef exports came in 46 million pounds, or 9.2% above a year ago, but were below the forecast due to a large decline in exports to South Korea. China continues to be a strong export market for the U.S. beef, with exports coming in 96% higher year-to-date compared to 2021. Beef imports have remained elevated so far this year, at 49% above a year ago. Most of the increase comes from larger imports from Brazil, though other countries such as Mexico, Canada, and Australia were also elevated. February did show signs of slower imports, but high domestic beef trim prices will continue to support, to support the imports. Total protein exports for the year are down about 5%, with most of the decline being in pork, which is down about 17%. Broilers have shown some, have shown some growth, up 1.7%, while turkey has declined 12%. Although broiler exports have remained strong, the U.S. poultry industry continues to struggle with the spread of avian influenza, with an estimated 1.8 million broilers and 1.5 million turkeys affected so far, and further spread expected in the next few months. Drought has continued across a large portion of the U.S., and with severe winds seen in many parts of the country this week, dry conditions have intensified in many areas. Updated weather forecasts indicate that the La Nina weather pattern that we have seen over the last couple years will continue through the summer and into the fall. This means warmer, drier conditions in the southwest and somewhat cooler, wetter conditions from the northern plains to the southeast. In this week's markets, active fed cattle cash trade occurred in the north at 138 to 140 live and 222 dressed. That is steady with last week. Moderate to active trade also developed in the south at 138, which is steady with the prior week. In the box beef complex, the choice cutout moved 261 higher, while selects closed the week 212 softer. Grain futures all moved higher this week, with corn gaining about 32 cents, soybeans adding 92 cents, and KC winter wheat increasing 78 cents in the nearby May contract. With domestic and global supply in question, the grain market continues to see wide trading ranges and a lot of volatility. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. Over 10,000 years ago, mankind first domesticated cattle. At this exact same time, cattle domesticated us. Our two species have worked together and taken care of each other for centuries. Zoetis is today's advanced answer to that ancient bond. We help make it stronger, healthier, more robust. We are born of the bond.